have uh, a couple of sort of in, I have kind of an interrogation planned. Cool. Okay, but great. Do you want to do that or do you have like your list or? I have no list. Come on. This is me. All right. True. <laughs> well, in that case. Uh, You're going to dissect me with this blunt tool, Edwards? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I suspect, uh, I suspect that, that, yeah, let's, let's see if it's a dissection or not. Okay. I want to know more about, I mean, we, our last conversation was all thematics and kind of orient in aesthetics, right? This yeah, time, for the most is, part, um, this time I want to pretend that I'm actually playing night waves and I say, uh, you know, I do this and I do that. And mm -hmm. what, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll just go right ahead. I mean, we're going to talk about, um, you know, this, uh, you know, there's this martial artist character who, uh, is completely, I'm trying not to make it one of the characters directly out of the novel or something like that. Um, right. But, uh, it's kind of hard not to, if, yeah, if I if I go ahead and uh, uh, you know make the character some kind of a of a the, let's go ahead. I'm gonna. I guess it'll be a mashup of some characters in my head. But we'll yeah, make the character fine. Make, that's. I mean, yeah, make the character completely uh, uh, completely withdrawn, completely dropped out. Uh, actually literally relies on others to, you know, feed him or at least make sure mm -hmm. that he's not like wandering around and dying in an alley of exposure, you know, other people. <laughs> um, but uh, is, you know, and never been institutionalized, doesn't have a criminal record um, just because he's almost too, uh, he's almost too isolated even to get wrapped up in someone else's schemes um but uh but is you know this in insane martial arts you know practitioner mm -hmm. um you know welcome reference in, noted <laughs> yeah um the but like wanders i mean it's it's a mythology that anybody can be like all styles and no style right that's like a mm -hmm. it's a big mythology from the martial arts culture but right. this guy is considered a freak because he kind of is so he's right. any legitimate martial arts place like you know the real ones he's welcome he just walks in mm -hmm. and he's welcome um you know, makes no fuss, doesn't hurt anybody, you know, totally just does the training and stuff. Nobody asks, you know, they, everyone knows, don't, you know, don't ask him, right? Don't have phone talk yeah. to him, you know, he's here. He's going to work out with you. If he works out with you, you're lucky. You're going to learn right. a million things, right? Just do don't it. ask his credentials. Just show yeah. him, right? And, yeah. uh, you know, never tournaments, martial arts, culture, whatever, zero. No one's ever. It's like when I go to a game con, it's the same thing. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. So um, don't talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. I mean, um, you know that guy. Oh, never mind. Don't ask. <laughs> so um, the 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 deal is though is that you know he's I could make up other stuff. It's obviously you know culturally we got to know like ethnicity and stuff like that. But right now let's just say he's my guy in a gamer sense. Yeah. And Mechanically, so, you don't need right. to know any of that stuff. Right. Um, so you end up with this, uh, you end up with this situation where I've made up this character and one thing I don't know about the game and believe me, having been in a couple of very, very, very different games in the last month, it's mm -hmm. really become clear to me how differently situational information is presented. Um, game by game and person by person. So I sit down to play Night Waves and you're the game master and you're going to tell well, me that's not going to happen. On. I know because you never GM. <laughs> um, I, I try not to. Um, oh, I know. I know. I've, uh, I've guilt tripped you into it a couple of times. So I <laughs> yeah. totally suspect yeah. you hold the world record for that. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, 
the the thing that I'm saying is that if whoever this Nightwaves Game Master is, who happens to embody mm-hmm. all of your references and standards, um, well, hopefully they don't have to, right? right? But that's the goal. But this is. But let's say they do. So, well, in this case, how do I know what's going on? What am I presented with so that then I can say I do this? As a player, yeah. Or is it as a player? What do, what am I given by that guy? Uh, I mean, you have your character, so everybody starts with a character. It helps, um, and the controller, the person running the game, has ostensibly has. Um, so, th- there's two ways to do it. Well, there's more than two ways to do it, but one way is um, they're privy to all the information on the character sheet. And in a two to four person game, it's probably not a whole lot of, of baggage for them to deal with, right? right. Um, no. no. Although there's going to be, a, yeah. but there's going to be a lot of, I mean, ideally there's going to be a lot of names. You're going to have a lot of uh, NPCs. Okay. okay. This That's is, one thing I know. I've got all these NPCs on my sheet. Yeah. And a little bit. So, but it's the, kind of the player's mm-hmm. job to, to manage that and go, oh, in this situation, blah applies and they bring in an NPC. It's not like the right. GM is like, so okay, let me look at your character right. sheet. Yeah, yeah, it's right. it's it's okay, got to so be proactive that, on the player. But I have to be working off something that the DM, that the that the controller says. Right. So right. what do they say? We've gotten going. That's that is the hard part. That is the I I know a lot about this idea of a game because I don't I don't want to call it a game yet, um, but I don't know. Okay, at one level. Uh, a ragtag group of uh, adventurers and misfits and uh, criminals and etc. Uh, are called together by this mysterious force and says, "You have to save the president." Okay. Right. That's the that's like the band of the hand kind of a team, dirty dozen. You don't know each other. You might not like each other, but you got to save the president. A different president, let's say. Yes, I was going. Let's to say that. a different president. <laughs> and no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that 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 initial pitch kind of went out the window in 2016. It's like, okay, you don't. <laughs> um, I might, and I don't want to be on an FBI myself, list. So that's just how it is. Um, the uh, the thing with um, the thing with this, though, we can if you want to talk about it in terms of all the options and concepts, right? So at that end, there's that. Then there's right. this other end where there's more than one variable here. Let's go, go to some other end where our characters are defined as knowing each other already. Sure. Right. Just because we just know each other mm-hmm. and maybe know the each crew other pretty well. Right. I mean, we right. may not even operate as a crew that much, but when, when Burke calls, we do. And that's one of us, right? So right. One of us does. So sort of like the defenders, right? You know, who, mm-hmm. um, and so then the, uh, the second point, though, at that end of the spectrum is that we're going to say that the controller has our sheets and mm-hmm. looks across them, right? Now, it may not be... I'm as, making notes, by the way. Yeah. It may not be like scruffing us and dropping us into the conference room, like our first example, but it is still information on the controller's part <clears throat> that they kind of distill in their mind and say, you're here, or... Where are you? And then they say something that happens. Right. But the controller is providing something. And let at that, if we were playing at that kind of end of that set of variables where we we're not going to play how we met. Right. right. We're, we're, we're done with all that shit. Um, and we're not going to play, uh, you know, do, do you accept this mission or anything like that? Right. We're going to play our dudes because they already do stuff together. And we've each got our problems and we kind of want play to be about us. Yes. So that would, yeah, that would be the continuum is the, it's kind of the action, kind of the superficial action movie, big budget extravaganza all the way down to the, it would be the equivalent of, um, uh, I'm not, what is it? It's that Joaquin Phoenix movie. I'm not really here. I can never remember the title. Right. But it's that one that's super like Vaxian. Right. Um, right. Because so, that's just like, that's not an action movie. Right. Even though it's about, exactly. it would fit in with this world. Right. But on the other end would be like a Michael Bay, like uh, um, Six Underground, kind of like 
you don't need to know about anything about these characters because they're going to go on an adventure and maybe you'll find out stuff along the way. So we have then this this situation where you're uh, or, where the, the controller's there and has had however much time to look over our sheets and mm -hmm. it's more or less on them to come up with some details, some slight change, some thing that is going to make at least one of us get real proactive. Yes. And so this is kind of interesting since, okay, I'm just going to say, let's pretend you're dealing with players who aren't going to play coy, right? Okay. They're not going to, you know, say, oh, I don't care about that and like dive under the right, right, right. They're, they're, they're interested in playing. Yes. I put, I put that on my sheet. If you pick it up to use in this scenario, I am delighted. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Oh, goody. He picked my sheet. This is great. Right. Yeah. So, um, with that in mind, there you are. Uh, again, yeah. What what's a good way to do it? Do you say now this may be options rather than fixed? But do you say so? Where are you today? Describe an ordinary morning. Mm -hmm. And then I start describing an ordinary morning. Perhaps it's our first session, so it's kind of cool for everybody to you know yeah. see what it's like when I say okay, you know. Uh, I, uh, you know, I, 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 I get out of the, you know, I get out of the, the trailer truck that I sneaked into during the night, you know, and I go and I find a garden hose, you know, in the back of this suburban home and spray myself down before they know I'm there. Right. And then I go, you know, then I go and, and do, you know, martial arts forms in the park for the next, you know, seven hours. Right. <laughs> right. Um, and, and, and at that point, you know, every, all the players are kind of looking at me and, you know, I'm going, all right, then <laughs> I think we're getting the idea here. And so right. therefore you then will be bringing something in. Now you could also say, and maybe this is for a later session and everybody knows this kind of thing says, all right, you're in hour number four of your, your martial arts forms. And I'm like, okay, I mean, I didn't say what I was doing, but you want to put me there. That's where I like my guy to be. So go ahead, you know, put me there and, um, and then say what happens. But the, the point is either way that happens, you will be bringing in some kind of content. There's going to mm -hmm. be a, a tip. There's going to be, you know, a kicker, if you will. Right. Right. And or maybe it's a day you could always, I mean, one of these novels certainly, how many of these novels start with some equivalent? It was a day like any other day. Dot, yeah. Dot, dot. And then, of course, the next, the rest of the chapter tells us how it isn't. So, um, with, you know, with that in in mind, um, at that point, do I understand correctly? In even if you do the save the president thing, at that point, we kind of are unleashed. Because the whole point of these characters, whether it's motivated by them or, you know, forced by someone else, they are really good at what they do and they don't do anything normal. So they're going to do, I mean, the, the players are now kind of unleashed mm -hmm. tactically or emotionally or however to start pulling together their contacts, to start communicating with each other, to start deciding who's going to do what, you know. You know, yeah, I'll, I, I, uh, you know, I, you, you need some, this one guy absolutely removed from the hierarchy <clears throat> of this corporation or something. You need this guy completely, you know, removed. He's a linchpin of organization. We need to destabilize that group. He's the mm -hmm. linchpin. He's a totally non-entity, except that without him, the whole thing can't work. Fine, I say, you know, uh, he needs to be, uh, he needs to be, you know, out of commission for a week. Out of commission, how? Can't walk, or is walking okay, but he needs to be, you know, concussed um, or whatever. I mean, I'm the martial arts dude. He wants something There's to happen babysit. to somebody. You know, I'll go over and do it. You know, this guy, now, okay, right. he's on, he's on a respirator, but you know what? I know exactly what I did to him 
he'll be off in a week and a half. Right. right. I mean, I, I went and I did this punch and okay, he's, this guy is medically precisely where we want him and the organization is now destabilized. 